Don't you just hate it when you end up doing a simple mistake in a physics exam? Luckily, there are some practical things that can help you reduce them. For instance, you should be substituting the values at the very end of a calculation. This would mean that you would only be inputting one of those values into the calculator. You will be writing less numbers and you will have less of a chance of doing a calculator error if you just do one input compared to three or sometimes four. If you make a mistake, you need to be really analytical about what actually caused it. For instance, I do the most mistakes when I try to skip multiple steps in my head and then try to do more than one calculation or rearrangement at the same time. Writing out your working out fully will not only improve your chances of getting full marks, it will make your examiner's work even easier to trace and award any intermediate marks, but also you'll be able to go back to your work, check it and then trace back should you need to change anything in your work, it will be 10 times easier. Another thing I would make sure to do is if I'm ever feeling stuck on a calculation, I would see what I calculated in the previous part of the question. Very often this would allow me to proceed and not make a mistake. Yet another thing to do directly before the exam would be to scan the specification and write down some common mistakes on the different parts of the topics. For for instance, lots of students might forget to carry a square term in Newton's laws of gravitational universal attraction. Another common mistake would be to be using the simple harmonic motion displacement equations in degree modes on your calculator. It needs to be in radians in order to use those equations. If I'm given a graph, I would expect that there will be a trick with the units and that I will be given non-standard units that I would need to convert in a late calculation of the gradient or a value. I would also see if the answer makes sense. If I'm calculating visible light, I know that I would need an answer which is going to be roughly between 400 and 700 nanometers and an answer of something like 10 to the minus 10 meters would indicate that there's a mistake and I need to go back and fix it. Other than revising mistakes, there are certain statements that really help you learn marks and I've summarized lots of them in a couple of videos and you need to have a look at this one right over here good luck on the exams.